Hi guys and welcome back to my let's play of The Wind Waker So once again this is going to be one of my longest episodes It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place But that would mean There is no time to lose We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps we sail to the south Oh yeah, I've got to use the Wind Waker So this is gonna be another really long episode We will be doing the forest temple I kept calling it the wind temple in the episode before this one <laughs> so that was a mistake oh what's happening hi hold it right there small fry oh I I don't know where you got your mitts on that Z chart you got there But it looks like to me it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it It's pathetic, in fact it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart if you ask me What's the matter small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here, I'm telling you that you've got a problem And you do don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open your C chart and make it snappy. Dragon Roost Island. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of here, Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Of course, you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you since I'm feeling so generous. I'll tell you words to all my brethren living near the islands of the great sea good bunch of fish wasn't meant to do that <laughs> so we'll be doing the forest temple all of it and once again this is one of my longest episodes it's not often I do videos this long So I'm gonna speed this up a bit Alright guys, uh, we're almost there, but there's a submarine here and there should be a empty bottle. We're gonna need them for our journey. They come very handy for carrying potions. I actually found this on a video to remind me where exactly the submarine was. I do remember that it was in a submarine, but for some reason I kept thinking it was in front of Dragon Roost Island. 
stupid rat. What? He's carrying a rupee. Come back here. Give me that rupee. Oi. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Make your move. Oh yeah, and this is an example of stealing items of an enemy. There you go. I mean, the only point of that really is if you're running away from an enemy. Once you kill an enemy, you're gonna get the items either way. You got an empty bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. What about piss? Hand over the piss and no one gets hurt. <laughs> Alright. Right, so let's get out of here already. We've made it guys. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Slizio. The Forest Haven. Yeah, that's the place. I couldn't remember the name. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferrara's Far Farrar's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Slizio. Oh, and there's Beedle. I may just buy some... bait. It's gonna come in handy. Right, what's this? Bait bag. You need to buy this bag before you can buy any bait. Thank you. Oh. Buy some bait. You got all purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food. The moment you put it down, it has three portions. Choose your bait bag on the items. Thank you. So, so with this, you can control seagulls, which can help you find, well, treasure. By using that pair, you can use a seagull and you can get to places that Link can't get to. Which usually has some interesting treasure. Okay, it's not hitting him. Oh. I'm trying to ignore these. Boom, boom.
Oh! Oh! Perfect! A full moon! Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> this is brilliant. Let me just get my camera. Get rid of him first. Oh boy, an Octorok. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. I, actually, I'm not sure if it has to be in colour. I hope it doesn't. But... If you take a picture of a complete full moon, you give it to the guy that sits on the steps in Windfall Island. And I think he gives you a heart piece or, or maybe it's a treasure map. I personally never bother with treasure maps. So this is Forest Haven. Where the Deku tree lives. Also we want to equip this bottle. And get up here if I can. Should be around here. Ah, oh, there it is. You call a forest firefly in your bottle. A strange light emanates from this mystical creature. You have to give that to the pictograph guy and he will make your camera colourful. He's got herpes. <laughs> choo choo herpes. Oh. Show me your the cool nuts. Take a stick and light my torch. <laughs> oh, a green jelly. You've got some green chew jelly. I believe if you collect 20 of them, no wait, no, it's 15, you can give it to the potion guy in Windfall Island and he will make potions for you for free. No idea what he's saying. Why do you look so puzzled? I must apologize. I was in horror. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian of the spirit. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Yep. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I know there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my word. Now I understand it. They've been touching my fresh word. <laughs> he has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case... We must make haste. Did you bring protection? 
Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Strange looking guys. <laughs> we. What do you call yourself? Slizio. Well then, Slizio. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the power to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my child? We are not, oh great Deku Tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Makar. What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, it's not that, oh great Deku Tree. Maka fell into the forbidden woods. What? The forbidden woods? I told him to be careful, but still Maka flew above the forbidden woods, and as he drew close to it. Foolish little Maka. Slizio. You have heard all this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region, is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems that they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah yes, thank you child. You are right, it is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Slizio. I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. I'm taking a shit. I feel like first morning wood. I just shot out a leaf. I'm sexy again. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive me, Slizio, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? So, guys, we are about to get a new item. Oops. So we're going to have to use these plants and as you can see we're getting further up, oh shit, <laughs> well I failed that. So this has to be my least favourite. This has to be one of my most 
least favourite parts in the game. I personally don't like this level too much. I'm also hoping that I can get the magic upgrade. Funny story though about Wind Waker. When I very first played this game, I accidentally found the fairy that um, the squid has under the sea. And on my second try, I couldn't find it ever again. And ever since then, I've had no luck finding the magic upgrade. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly over here using your Deku tree leaf. Sorry. We and there's an arrow right there. How convenient! I think the only time I've, I'm ever going to be doing really, really long episodes in this Let's Play is when I'm doing the dungeons. I think I would prefer to keep them in one full part. If we just make the wind go southwest, we can fly over there much easier. Now this part can be a bit tricky. So we're gonna use the wind waker again. And we're gonna send it to Northwest, I believe. Northwest. Yeah. So we're going to have to wait for this little tornado thing to move. And we need it to be in front of us. Okay, we have to do this just right. Come on, come on. Yep. Oh. Now this part can get annoying. Whoa. If you fly too close to them, they will knock you down. Forbidden Woods. So this is going to take a while. A long while. I for some reason never really liked this dungeon that much. It's not difficult but I find it boring. And also, these plants can regenerate your magic. Oh, <laughs> that was close. All right, where am I going? Just got to figure out. Tentacle vines. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Yeah. 
We're going to have to use our leaf. Just like that. Whoa. Also, we got another boss in this dungeon. I mean, of course, you pretty much always get a boss in a dungeon in Zelda games. Whoa. I really hate these particular enemies. Once you get the bow and arrow or the hook shot, they're easy to kill. Take your stick. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. Jump in. Oh, I thought it was going to come to life. <laughs> Right. Can I reach there? Oh, good. We're going to pick up another giant Deku nut. I believe this is what it's supposed to be. A Deku nut. Oh, he's spazzing out. <laughs> Pick this up. Easy. Tentacles. So they're not allowing you to enter the center. You'd have to use your leaf to move the Deku nut. The cool nut. Yeah, I'm not going to need the Wind Waker here. <laughs> I'm hoping in the next episode, I'll be able to show you guys um, where the magic upgrade is. No, 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 no. Ah. So I think this let's play will probably take me 50 episodes round about that much to finish this because I think the story is quite long but of course there are side quests to do as well and I think in this let's play I'll be gradually showing all the islands not all at once, of course. I think I probably should start exploring all islands when I've got the skull hammer. By that time, we pretty much got all the equipment you'd need. To um, explore every island. Because there are islands out there that you need certain equipment for. And it's just going to waste your time if you sail all the way to an island. And it turns out you haven't got the equipment you need. Oh, there's a bomb right there. Bomb. It's 
such a pretty plant. It's too bad you can't blow up the tentacles. <laughs> I guess it's a compass. Oh, good guess. I always forget if it's a map or a compass. Oh, shit. Now that we have the key, we can now go through the door with the lock. Oh god, chew jelly. Oh fuck this, <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, I've got a feather. You got a golden feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> I hate those creatures. In this episode, we'll be getting a new item called the boomerang, which is going to help us out quite a bit in this dungeon. So I was wondering, what is your favourite Zelda game, guys? This is my favourite Zelda game. And then I suppose my second favourite Zelda game would be... Twilight Princess? Ooh, what's that? Holy shit! Oh, that is pretty ugly. <laughs> oh, God. Get these things off me. Oh, dear. Come on, oops. That didn't even touch him. <laughs> Works for me anyway. Stop pooping out creatures. Disgusting. I'm tired. Ugh. Got another feather. Couple of hearts. So I heard on the Wii U version they have something called hero mode and it's supposed to be harder and apparently they don't drop hearts you got the boomerang target specific objects by holding the button you set it to and aiming at something until the red targeting cursor changes to a So 
So let's try it out then. So you want to target that and this. It's opened. Whoa. Watch out. Get out of my way. Get me out of here. Just a little further now guys and we will be at the boss. I think this dungeon in my opinion is probably shorter than the fire one. The fire temple. We got a joy pendant. Now remember guys, you're going to need 21 of those joy pendants. You need at least one to activate the quest and the uh, teacher in Windfall Island wants you to collect 20. You know, I'm curious, why is the water purple? Maybe it's best not to know. <laughs> For all we know, it could be plant piss. Is that even possible? Oh shit. Those things remind me of plankton from Spongebob. God, it's so annoying. Oh. Oh my God, more tentacles. Ah. Oh, it's taking my magic. Get off my butt. What's in here? 10 rupees, I think. Yeah. I remember that quite well. So we're going to use our boomerang and we're going to go for a flower ride. Oh boy, an Octorok. So the other day I was thinking maybe I should start a Luigi's Mansion. Let's play. Me and my cousin used to play that so much when we was very, very young. And... <laughs> We would get scared shitless. And we kept asking ourselves, is this game supposed to be really scary? Considering it's a Luigi game. It was so scary. Oh, tentacles. So this is the room where you get the boss key. That should do it. Boss key.
in the next episode we will be going back to Outset Island. Oh no, it's those pigs again. I got an idea. Oh, shit. You can actually stun enemies with the boomerang, which becomes very handy. Oh fuck, gotta be careful. Oh god. Is he dead? No, he's still not dead. Oh Christ, careful. Oh shit. Holy shit. I'm freaking out here, guys. I seriously am. Um... Whoa. I was freaking out there. I don't think four hearts is enough. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing again? Oh yeah. Now we got to use the hook. And we should be near the boss pretty soon. Just glide past all these creatures. I have no idea what they're called. But for some reason they remind me of plankton. I guess obviously because they only have one eye. Oh, that's wrong. Right, so what you want to do is... Blow that. Get in the plant. And I believe it's this room here that we need to go to. We're not allowed to go back. But then there's no reason to anyway. <laughs> Oh shit. What the hell happened there? Those things creep me out. Holy shit. Die. I wonder what's in here. It's a joy pendant. We're getting quite a few of those. Okay guys, there it is. Get some fire. But we obviously, most likely, won't come back to this place anyway, so. We finally made it to the boss. Hi. 
Oh my god. He ate my car. Over dramatic boss scene. Boom. So what you want to do is use the boomerang while moving of course you want to dodge his attacks Oops You want to cut his vines with the boomerang But make sure to be dodging his attacks as well You want to be quick Oh. Die. He spat me out. This is a fairly easy boss, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. Whoa. Gotta be careful. One more vine. Come on. Oh Christ. There. Easy. Very, very easy. It's one of the easiest bosses in the game. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my fangs. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, oh, that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. I'm pooped. <laughs> you got a heart container. Your life energy has, has been increased by one. Good. Come on, Makar. We've finally done the dungeon, so now... That's that, I suppose. Oh, Maka, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I did not listen. Do not worry, Maka. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Slizio. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. Just gotta wave my bush. Shake my bush. You received Faro's Pearl. The Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess, Faror. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Maka. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. 
Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep all you waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Oh, great Slizzy O. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. Oh, don't do that. You'll break your violin. Or is it a cello? A cello, I'm sorry. Not a violin. Duh. I hope you enjoy it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Oh god, the Deku's nuts. He's hit puberty. <laughs> I can picture a Disney moment right now. For some odd reason. Great Deku tree, this year you have once again received some splendid seeds. He's blasting his seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the seal. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, great swordsmen. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. That was beautiful. Well, unfortunately guys, this is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. On the next episode, we will be going back to Windfall Island and then back to Outset Island. I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you next time, and bye-bye.